Praise the Lord. Welcome back, saints and seekers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining me. Well, we are going to go ahead and roll on over into the second epistle of Paul the Apostle to the Corinthians. So, Corinthians 2, 2 Corinthians. And uh, this is going to be Paul's having to defend himself now in his letters to the Corinthians. I must not have liked him being quite so stern with them in the uh, first letters he's writing. So he's having to remind them he is a messenger of God, and uh, there's also more talk about stewardship and giving in this second letter as well. Let's uh, say a little prayer for our world before we go into chapter 1. Heavenly Father, we love you so much. We are so grateful, Lord, for your kindness and goodness and mercy to us, all the long-suffering, all the warnings, Lord, to this world, and we do pray for hearts to turn. We know that hearts are turning. We know that many are responding the right way to the shaking. They are acknowledging you again, and we are so grateful for every soul that turns to you, Lord. We do pray for those that haven't turned, Lord. We pray that their hearts would be softened and that they would awake to righteousness, that uh, you would receive all the glory that you deserve, Lord. We pray for Israel this night, so many that are coming against them, but we know who stands in the midst of them today, and that is you, God Almighty. We know that your miracles are happening they will be seen of all you will be glorified the heathen will even exalt your name and we praise you we worship you we thank you that you do not forget your people we lift up america to you tonight lord to do the turnaround that needs to be done to help us take back what has been stolen what is trying to be stolen we know that you are able to do that for your nation. We belong to you. In Jesus' name we pray. We ask blessing on everyone that would listen to this word and that uh, it would be engrafted in our hearts, Lord. Every word that we hear, help us receive it and hold it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Chapter 1 of Second Corinthians. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, unto the church of God, which is at Corinth, with all the saints which are in all Achaia, grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, who comforteth us in all our tribulation that we may be able to comfort them which are in trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. It really works that way. As we are encouraged and comforted by the Lord, we are able to impart that to others that need comfort as well. Verse 5, For as the sufferings of Christ abound in us, so our consolation also aboundeth by Christ. And whether we be afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation, which is effectual in the enduring, have the same sufferings which we also suffer. Or whether we be comforted, it is for your consolation and salvation. And our hope of you is steadfast, knowing that as ye are partakers of the suffering sufferings, so shall ye be also of the consolation. For we would not, brethren, have you ignorant of our trouble which came to us in Asia, that we were pressed out of measure, above strength, insomuch that we despaired even of life. But we had the sentence of death in ourselves, that we should not trust in ourselves, but in God, which raiseth the dead, who delivered us from so great a death, and doth deliver, in whom we trust that he will yet deliver us. 
ye also helping together by prayer for us, that for the gift bestowed upon us by the means of many persons, thanks may be given by many on our behalf. For our rejoicing is this, the testimony of our conscience, that in simplicity and godly sincerity, not with fleshly wisdom, but by the grace of God, we have had our conversation in the world and more abundantly to you word. For we write none other things unto you than what ye read or acknowledge, and I trust ye shall acknowledge even to the end, as also ye have acknowledged us in part, that we are your rejoicing, even as ye also are ours in the day of the Lord Jesus. And in this confidence I was minded to come unto you before, that ye might have a second benefit, and to pass by you into Macedonia, and to come again out of Macedonia unto you, and of you to be brought on my way toward Judea. When I therefore was thus minded, did I use lightness, or the things that I purpose, do I purpose according to the flesh, that with me there should be yea, yea, and nay, nay? But as God is true, our word toward you was not yea and nay. For the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who was preached among you by us, even by me and Silvanus and Timotheus, was not yea and nay, but in him was yea. For all the promises of God in him are yea, and in him amen, unto the glory of God by us. Praise God. All the promises of God in him are yea, and in him amen. You know, we've got to read the word, and we've got to take hold of the promises in the word, and we've got to hold on to those, and we've got to speak those out to ourselves again and again. When we are in troubling times, which we are in at this moment, in this world, we've got to remind ourselves God is on the throne. God is over all. God promised never to leave me or forsake me. God promised to be with me till the end. God has chastised us repeatedly in the word, telling us, do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed. We aren't to have a fearful heart with what's going on. We are to be full of faith. And from the word of God know that these times that we are witnessing, he told us to look up for your redemption draweth nigh. Everything we've hoped for is soon to come to pass in Christ. Verse 21, Now he which establisheth us with you in Christ and hath anointed us is God, who hath also sealed us and given the earnest of the Spirit in our hearts. So they've been baptized in the Holy Ghost. They are anointed of God to teach. And he's having to tell them this because his apostleship is being challenged by this church. Verse 23, Moreover, I call God for a record upon my soul, that to spare you I came not as yet unto Corinth. Not for that we have dominion over your faith, but are helpers of your joy. For by faith ye stand. By faith ye stand. The just shall live by faith. Praise God. <clears throat> well, we're just going to go on into 2 Corinthians Um talking about the trouble he had in Asia and, you know, the imprisonments and things he had. We have people being imprisoned today. You know, it's in the news in America that in our country we have people that have just been set up and they're sitting in jail without a trial. <laughs> you know, they've been there for months and months without a trial. And uh, we have a, a preacher that he's on 253 days and uh, no trial, false charges. They need prayer. We need to just keep praying and undertaking. God is moving in the situation and God's using the situation. What the enemy means for evil, God will turn for good. The preacher sitting in jail has uh, ministered to people. There are souls being saved. 
He's writing a kingdom series that when he's released from jail, he'll be ready to preach. And um, we just need to pray over him and his family. And even though he is a servant of God, there is despair when you're away from your family and you feel alone. You're never alone. God is with you. If you're a servant of God, he is very much with you. But you know what I mean. If you have family, if you have a wife and you can't be with them and they're going through serious trials on the outside, Satan is just uh, throwing many arrows at you. But none of it's going to prosper against the servants of God. We just need to stand. But we've got to pray for people that are falsely accused, that are being used uh, for examples of intimidation to others so just keep praying uh, rebuke the enemy call forth the good things of God we need to declare those promises of the Lord well I love you Jesus loves you more be faithful Acts 238 if you need to give your heart to the Lord repent be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. I love you. Jesus loves you more. Be blessed.